Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're back with some more War of the Spark standard brews. Uh, so today we're looking to do some updates to our Jeskai Lumbering Battlemink combo deck. Um, so we played a lot of this last standard season. Uh, it was one of the more fun decks. Not necessarily always reliable, but it could basically gain infinite life, do infinite damage, draw out your deck, mill out your opponent, uh, create infinite uh, tokens, mana, um, and then just throw huge battlements. So how it works is around a card called Lumbering Battlement. So when this creature enters the battlefield, you can exile any number of other creatures uh, until Lumbering Battlement leaves the battlefield. It gets plus 2-2 two, two for each of those creatures. So one way we have to win is make a big battlement, give it a th and then throw it at them with thud. Um, otherwise, how the combo works is you get a bunch of creatures underneath the in initial battlement. You either uh, exile with a another battlement or a copy, either using mirror image or in this case we're trying out spark double as well. And if you get three copies of the battlement, they just keep exiling each other, creating a loop where all your creatures that are underneath get to enter the battlefield and get infinite enter the battlefield triggers. And the way we win from there is to either mill our opponent out with Wall of Lost Thoughts, uh, burn them out with the Ashino Pyromancer, um, or we can gain infinite life and infinite card draw on this version with Elite uh, Guard Mage. This is one of the new cards we're trying out. So when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. Um, you can also draw cards with Sky Scanner or Fibblethip. Um, and then we can create infinite mana with Sailor or Means. Uh, otherwise, the deck, we're trying out some Wall of Ruins as well. Uh, so this is another card where in the early game it serves as a blocker to help us get to the late game and it helps smooth out our initial draws. Um, and then we're also trying out right now one Fibblethip. I only cracked one of my packs. I want to see how it works, to be honest, before we craft any more. Don't think it'll be very good, so hanging on to the wild cards for the time being. One or two at most, because it's legendary, you don't really want to draw multiples. Um, and then the deck is pretty much the same. Since we moved away from some of the red cards, we're not playing uh, Goblin Chain Whirler anymore, or some of the more red intensive. We've been able to up the amount of basics we've been playing, which should help us as well. And then I don't think it's very good, but it's very fun. Mirror March, uh, this leads to some really swingy games. So this could, in a, with one battlement, in theory, could trigger the combo. Um, but it's more of a fun of. So we'll get started. Um, this either wins amazingly or fails horribly, which is some of my favorite type of magic. Uh, for those of you who are tuning into the channel for the first time, I'm MTG Joe. We play everything here from Tier 1 to Jank and everything in between. Um, you'll frequently find me on the Reddit uh, for MTG Arena. Uh, I love to brew. If you have any questions, you can, we can connect there. It's MTG Joe as well. And if you haven't done so already, subscribing is a free and easy way to show your support to the channel. Um, so other than having to shock ourselves twice, don't mind this hand. We'll keep it. We have early defenders if need be. If this is like a control matchup, we have no pressure. But looks to be mono red. Perhaps maybe a gruel deck. Don't want that. Want more lands. So another way to just get value is you have Judas portal, which can uh, blink your creatures. So this is the Boros Mentor deck, most likely, or the uh, Feather deck. Really would like to draw a land here. Okay, so this might just be the Twitch Prime deck that they give out. Okay, so land there is good. Uh, I want to hit my next line drop, so I'm actually going to copy the Wall of Ruins. Don't want that. So already this seems pretty good. We might want to go up to 4 and cut a Wall of Lost Thoughts. I think just the early tempo of us being able to shuffle. So opponent will be able to Mentor there. They'll get into for 2 damage. 
block here. So it's important to keep the copy alive as much as possible. Uh, yeah, that's a copy. This will gain us the life. We can block Sarah here and we hit another line drop. So we're close to Mirror March. A lumbering battlement would be really good here. Okay, so they have the lightning strike. They'll be able to get in for two more. Any target. We don't have any power. So we'll just pass the turn here. Opponent hasn't been applying a ton of pressure. We've locked up the ground pretty well. First strike tribal. Do they have a play on three? Danitha. Uh, here. I actually want to get Mirror March going. We can play Sailor Means to generate a few tokens, but. Oh, that's gross. Four, eight. Guess we have to block. I think we're dead. That was so good. Well, for the mirror march at least. Alright, so. Don't even get two to throw at it, but. It's fine. Opponent's got it. We were good until they gave a double strike that we can't really do much. So it was actually first strike tribal. That was wacky. The deck doesn't really have removal in it because you're playing creatures. Uh, when you're playing something like the, the black based versions, you have Ravenous Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, you have ways of better interacting with the opponent's board. With ours, it's more about delaying against creature decks until you could combo. So we'll get started on another one. Let me know in the comments too what decks you've been playing so far. Uh, if you have any good ranked decks, haven't really found anything. I've been like Jeskai Tokens was pretty fun, but haven't stuck with anything in particular. So we're going to play out the wall here. Probably just want land. Uh, Vanguard's good. Yeah, let's keep the Vanguard on top. We'll likely draw into another land by turn four. Here we'll just play out the Yoshino. Seeds, not really a match there. We'll take the win for the, for the packs. Yeah, I've tried out Demir control, uh, like more of a mill based as for rank. The Jeskai tokens. It's a weird meta right now. Like you have these all-in aggro decks with like the feather decks, then you have big gruel, and then the Grixis decks seem quite resilient with both the uh, multicolor spells, the both the amass ones. Uh, Kelpa scrying to land, sky scanner, draw some cards. Don't like the thuds in the hand, but we'll try it out. I'm really liking Wall of Runes here in this deck. Opponent gives us the hello. Uh, let's keep the battlement. That's why we're here. 
We have sailor means and then sky scanner as well. So we'll just play out the line and say go. Opponent looks to be on angels. So here, this guarantees we could play it on turn, but do we want to take a turn to, because then we can kill that, get a token. I think we just draw a card this turn. Okay, so we have Viashino next turn. No plus there. Strength is born. We'll see if they attack in or they hold back. Second battlement's good. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna play out the sailor, get the token, and then play out the Viashino. Let's just hit the Ajani down for now. No tax. So this line's a little bit risky if we don't draw land. Pride mate, they'll make them both bigger. You are capable of more than you assume. And Venelish. Perfect. So we have a 12-13. We can exile it next turn. Get everything back. Johnny proliferate again. It's actually a pretty sweet deck. This thing's really good. A, like a 2-3 that proliferates and has vigilance. So they could hit us for eight. They pop it on that, so they could hit us for nine. Okay, so we do have the thud plan as well. So let's attack into the opponent. See if they block. So here we can thud. Get back this stuff. So we're not going to fortunately be able to combo. So Johnny gonna ultimate. I think if we if we try to go for it, we gotta try to beat him. Uh, so that's five. Do we have enough? We might actually have enough. And then we could thud them. And then thud him again. Nice, we got him. Combo. Hit our opponent, get a bunch. Doesn't matter. Boom. 26 damage out of nowhere. Or 24. Okay. The cow's back in town. Alright. I keep playing decks that don't care about attacking. <laughs> Got the worst ones. We played Mill and now we're playing just like an all-in combo deck. 
not really helping the cause. So we're running back for one more. I think for the next budget deck we'll try out maybe a blue-black mass deck. That seems to be what some people were asking for in the chat. So this hand, we got some lions. This is an aggressive deck, so we'll play wall on two. Deputy, if this is tokens, is very good. Just have that inner tapped. I think the land's been a bit smoother. Before, when we were playing close to 24 duels, it hurt our ability to stay alive. Oh, that's a good draw, too. Just good defenders. Let's mill our opponent. Ooh. I like what they're playing. This might be just white splash black mid range. Oh, they might be playing Bantu as well. So next turn we'll probably go Sailor Means. Both these Tithe Takers make the portals a little bit of a weaker play. Great. Saves us the point of damage. Okay, so this might just be aristocrats or like value creatures. Okay, another portal. Uh, here. Just gonna set up via Shino. Have that enter tapped. Say go. Next turn we'll battle mint. Gives us a big body. There was a play to Deputy the Tithe Takers, but I think at this point I want to keep it for something like an Aketra, now that we've seen it, or the Gideon, something that's a little bit harder to deal with, because they can go wider than we can. I might also want to put back in Goblin Instigator, that was a way we could make infinite tokens. Okay, so they have the Gideon. For justice. So as long as it's your turn, it's 4-4, prevent all damage, once gains a whole bunch of stuff, and then it can exile. It's fine. I will lend you my strength. Uh, here... Here I think we just get rid of Gideon. Not just play that tapped. Soren's also soon. This card's so good in creature decks. Just giving everything lifelink. Like in a normal instance, it would be really good. Our deck, because we can go infinite, might prove to be a little bit harder. But I don't think we can steal like those thud that thud win that we did in the other game. Opponent's thinking. They can't plus and then bring back a Ketra next turn. Let's see what the opponent's up to. Come on, opponent. What a mess I've made. So that's... 
So we can exile these. That's five mana. If we can draw a land. Attack with everything. So let's get rid of these tithe takers. So now if we draw land, we're in a lot better spot. Perfect. So let's just exile these and pass the turn. So opponent can attack us in for a bit. If they bring back a Ketra, we might need to blink Deputy of Detention. Probably would have brought back a Ketra if I was them. Seems like the best value. Opponent's also playing pretty slow. Yeah, so their sequencing was a little off there. So they attack in here. This, so if this will create an afterlife spirit, we can always exile it with deputy. Uh, here, I think we just threaten our opponent's life. So they'll block there. It's a little annoying that we don't have a card draw spell under here. We have Vyashino, but that doesn't do enough. So they'll just keep pinging us here. Vampirism is a useful trait. Attack us for two. We probably want to see we can't even exile properly. See what's on top. Can we? Don't think we could thud them out of the game yet. They're ga they've gained too much life. Let's try to get Soren off the board. So 
So they'll just block there. So I want to see if they'll down tick, because then we can get it with the Vyoshino. That's a lot of value for them. This deck's awesome. Gotta try it out. It's pretty weak to Cryo Carnarium, but... The weak feed the strong. They hit us for two there. Yeah, because we mill them, we deal a couple points of damage. Another battlement would be good. Mirror March should be good. A land is not good. Let's go after Soren again. We just have a Sailor and a Wall, even just having Wall of Ruins to scry. I think we can wait one more turn, because they can't kill us this turn, and then we try to do, because we could double portal. So they hit us. I am whole. Okay, they're getting a little cheeky. They get an alpha strike. An interesting thing you can do as well with the deck is If they try to board wipe, you can put everything under the battlement, so you get all your creatures other than battlement back. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, so, uh. New plan. Put everything under battlements. So blink battlement. Oh, we didn't even attack. That was a mistake on our part. Would have got rid of one creature. Opponent's playing very slow. So I was kind of surprised they didn't block with the oligarchs instead of, like these 1-1s one -ones don't do anything. Having the flyers would have been a lot more useful for them to close out the game. Yeah, so they got us down, so they have 3 damage a turn, so... Just block like that. Blink battle, man. Stack that at the end. Uh, doesn't matter. Mill the opponent. 
You will become dust. Blink portal again. Exile the spirits. Exile. 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 Just in case we need the blockers. Don't want another wall. So mirror image. Why didn't it exile all the spirits? Just copy the battle mat. Exile the spirits, mill the opponent some more, don't want the land. So if we can survive this turn and we hit one more battle mint, then we win. I have some pretty good blockers. <laughs> what a mess I Opponents at 26 cards. If they kill it, they kill it. Okay, so Deputy of Detention gives us another turn at least. I will spare you this time. Would be better if Deputy could target our own stuff. The fact that you don't even have to use a plus ability on Gideon is silly. Jeez, another Soren. I have come for vengeance and blood. Come on. We can't even attack in because this dies and then they get a flyer. Seems pretty aggressive. Why not just... Sure. So, the important thing here is... Block Oligarch like that. Even the opponent not plussing. You can give this indestructible and just keep getting it to gain you life. All right, we got one turn. That was not the turn. Uh, I think we're dead. Opponents got it. 
and we timed out just in time. Alrighty, so that was a bit of a, a fun one. Came close. We were basically one card for most of the game away. Um, seems like card draw is a little bit of a weakness in the deck. Maybe a second fiddle, fiddle flip. I don't know how they named that card. Um, would be good. Uh, I like the walls to scry. Those are really good. Um, so there's still some tweaks we can make to the deck for sure. Um, but still seems like it's valuable. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and have a great one.